Hello and welcome to the first Far East 28-hour World Championship that took place in Malmö, Sweden. Malmö, featuring great architecture, is also a design city, so there couldn't be a more suitable location for the new modern design high-end boat like the Far East 28R to launch its first World Championship. The well, first World Championship in Malmö, I feel is very, very nice and uh, Marmo City is very beautiful and the people is very nice and the sea close the city every people can uh, see the uh, regatta it's very perfect The city of Malmö welcomed the competitors and the organizers with a spectacular dinner at the city hall a building full of history dating back to the 15th century The mayor of Malmö greeted the participants before they all sat down to dinner. For the city of Malmö to be hosting the Far East uh, World Championships, the new class is of course uh, what Malmö is about, it's breaking new history. A city with the old history, but also a city that changed very much in different ways. So hosting this championship with the new class of, of Far East 28R is of course interesting for the city of Malmö. The Far East 28R is a pure performance boat, the result of a Chinese-Dutch collaboration. has a powerful sailing plan, is one of the lightest 9-meter boats and, combined with the simple way to learn the trimming system, it helps crews focus on producing speed when sailing. Yeah, what makes the boat unique, I think, is that uh, it's a very simple boat, I like uh, to keep it light. And because we can keep it light, uh, yeah, the performance is very high. And one of my philosophies is that, uh, sure, you need to be able to trim uh, the sails correctly and uh, as best as you can. But the more trimming things you have on these small boats, the less you're focused on uh, the high speed uh, these boats can generate. The first two days in Malmö gave weather conditions that helped the boat show off its design advantages in the championship. The light winds of up to 13 knots didn't stop the Far East 28R boats from competing on the race course. Drake and Team Griffin Sailing sailed consistently in the first two days and managed to detach themselves from the rest of the fleet. The other teams had a lot of ups and downs in these light shifty weather conditions. But all the competitors enjoyed their time on the boat. Far East 28R is a terrific boat. I like this boat very much because it's, uh, and, uh, it favors active sailing and uh, it's fast and fun. It's crazy fun. What I like about this boat is that it is really fun downwind. It's a great uh, boat, uh, Far East 28R. So proud of you. Bravo! Did you know the Far East 28R was built in 2014?
More than 300 of the boats have been sold in the last three years. It's very well equipped with high-end deck gear by Harken and Spinlock with rigging by Selden. It weighs only 1,300 kilograms. Delivering one of the best price versus quality ratios which is well received in the market. On to the final day of the championship where tensions were high while the wind was strong as all the teams prepared for the final act in the waters of Malmö. We are uh, here in Malmö for the last day of racing in the Far East 28-hour World Championship. It's really, really tight in the top. Uh, the wind out on the bay right now is between uh, 18 and 24 knots of wind. So we will have a lot of nice sailing, double-digit sailing out there. So we are really looking forward to it. Team Griffin Sailing and Drake had their own fight for the world title in this match race contest. Team Griffin Sailing dominated by scoring a second and a first, taking the title, leaving second place to Drake. There were many challenges for the third place. Take Care 2 scored a bullet in the first race to become the favourite, later scoring a fifth in the last race to take that third podium spot. This was our first uh, World Championship in the Far East 28 and uh, for us it's been a really mentally tough week because uh, first day we had a really good series but we had a disqualification so we really had the pressure on us the whole week but we, we kept it together and uh, we sailed really really well and uh, I think our worst result was a second or third so really really happy. The first Far East 28 hour world championship came to an end with a prize giving ceremony. The winners were awarded and everyone made an appointment for the next World Championship in China. Well, from Far East side, we are really, really happy for this first World Championship. I mean, the boat was introduced on the market uh, late 2014. And in less than uh, two and a half years, we have uh, sold more than uh, 300 boats uh, on the global market. As a designer, I'm very, very happy that uh, even in these tough conditions uh, like today, all the boats, they, uh, they go fast and they go in one piece run. I think that's a great achievement for everybody involved.